Hey guys, I am Daisho, and I am here with a gameplay commentary of Call of Duty Black Ops. But it's not really much of a gameplay commentary, considering that I am going to spend the majority of the time that I have with you guys talking about a new game type idea. So Woody's Gamertag, a couple of weeks ago, pretty much decided that it was stupid that everybody was complaining that uh, Black Ops was getting boring. And rather than that, they should actually we should actually try to, as a community, come and think of an idea of what we can do about this. So um, I thought of this idea a little while back, and I left a comment on one of his videos, but apparently nobody read that, um, which is definitely not a big deal. I mean, um, for him to read and respond to all those comments, that would be ridiculous. But anyway... Um, that comment didn't get read, and I decided that I wanted to make a video of it. I'm actually going to post it on his Twitter and see if he manages to get around to watching it. And I would be really grateful if he did, so if you do, that'd be awesome. But if not, then I just want to sh uh, share this idea with you guys and see what you think of it. Because I think it's a pretty decent idea, and it would probably make for a pretty interesting game type. So anyway, I'm just going to go ahead and introduce this game type. So it's pretty much... It's a domination death team deathmatch hybrid, and I feel like one of the ops. I mean, I'm gonna go through the obstacles later, so I'll just I'll just first explain exactly um, what it is. So basically, it's this team deathmatch game where y it's uh, first to say 300, or I'm not really sure about the numbers yet, so, and I think y there would need to be a lot of testing to go into it to see. Um, how how much how many uh, what what kind of numbers it would be? But basically, you get one point for a kill in addition to getting the point for your flag. So that um, it pretty much just adds a whole new dimension to the the game type. I I believe um, just just by giving you actual points for getting kills rather than just needing to get kills for map control and whatever stuff like that. So um, now anybody can suggest an idea and. Um, it could, but it could be terrible. So, well, first of all, I'm actually going to give you the inspiration. So, the idea came from Star Wars Battlefront 2. I don't know how many people played that. It was basically like a shooting game where you had a certain amount of reinforcements, and that number went down depending on how many points your enemy controlled. And every time you died, then it also went down. So, the main objective was to um, control the points, but uh, killing was definitely an important part of that. So, I mean, I think that if they balance the game in a way so that killing could be just as equally as important as um, so that killing could be equally as important as capturing the objectives then it would be a much more enjoyable experience for everyone so um, I'm gonna go through the possible problems let's do spawns so first spawns could be an issue in uh, many game types that uh, many suggestions of game types, but it's definitely not one here because you can just use the same kind of spawns as you use in Domination. And you just have an affinity to spawn near your flag, and you'll spawn near a different flag if uh, if you don't... I mean, you'll just spawn randomly if you don't have any flags. So that's pretty simple. Um, bad teammates. So basically, if you play in a game and your teammates stink, then or they're just terrible at the game, then you really you can still win it by yourself because you can either just say alright we'll just try to keep one flag and I think that I'll be able to work up my kill streaks and get some kills and that'll be able to win us the game so that's a possibility um, to to win the game so bad, one bad teammate or an entire team of bad teammates really you could still win without them so that's not necessarily the biggest deal ever um, then there's also parties you're, nev you're never going to lose. If you have a full six-man party, you're not going to lose. I mean, sometimes that happens anywhere where you have a full six-man party and um, you just win every game every night, but I really can't see um, a full party ever losing in this game type unless they're playing against another full party or a really, really special player. But um, So that's not really much of an issue, but the only thing that I can really think of is the impossibility to balance this game between kill whoring and objective playing. So what I'm basically saying there is, sure you can you can pl you can make a game where it's balanced for some players, but since every single match and every single player is going to be different, it might be hard to have a constant balance between 
um, objective playing and kill whoring. So what I'm saying there is that it might sometimes be easy to do it so that if uh, your team is really good at killing and re uh, really good or decent at killing and decent at objective playing that you'll win. But there's also, there could be a game where maybe somebody is just, they camp the whole time. They managed to get a couple, um, one set of kill streaks with or an SR-71 chopper gunner and dogs or chopper gunner and a gunship or whatever, and then they managed to win the game by themselves. So um, definitely the things that need to be looked at are how often you get points for um, getting a kill, uh, for capping, for having a flag, like every three seconds, every five seconds, and um, that, I mean, that's pretty much the main number that is going to need to be worked out. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed this gameplay commentary. If you liked the video like it and if you like the idea then uh, give me some feedback so anyway I just thought it was a fun thing to think about even though it's probably never going to be implemented in the game so that's about it have a nice day bye